Disclaimer this video is for educational and historical purposes only. Look at his right there, look at his head. I'm gonna put a down rocket right there. Look at this motherfucker had rocket by the leg. A rocket had him by the leg. He's fucking constant right there. This is the dog called Will. This is the dog called Rocket. This is the black and tan. It's about a 47 pound dog. This is about a 50-51. I've already, I let them hit each other just to kind of get them excited. Uh, it's, a, it's a real hot day right now. But, uh, and they're about to burn up. But you can see that, you can see the size of them. This is the black and tan. This is off a of grand champion lion head and chocolate. This dog, this dog comes off of the frog dog and, and a miss nigger bitch. This is the dog called Will. And that's Rocket. Video out this uh, by saying thank you to everybody that's inquired about our dogs. This is our champion Joan bitch. Uh, she's a, a double uh, bred granddaughter of Rufus, Hammonds Rufus. She was bred, bred by Gary Hammonds and uh, uh, those of you that keep up uh, in, the, in, the, in the dog world uh, know the incidents that may have occurred uh, regarding this dog's grand championship match, uh, which I won't get into and dwell on right now. She'd, uh, she suffered a dislocated joint in that lower leg and uh, she had tore the wrapping and the, and the bandage off uh, and uh, when she jumped off the couch she severed the bone and dislocated it. I mean uh, detached the bone from her, uh, from her bottom leg and thus uh, losing most of her pad on her bottom, bottom leg, bottom, uh, bottom foot there. Uh, it's, the tendons have drawn up in the leg to the point to where she can't, she can't stretch it, reach, uh, stretch it out and put it down. But uh, this is a very fine dog right here, and hopefully uh, she'll make us a real quality brood bitch. This is Champion Joan. Uh, this dog right here belongs to Norman Hooten. Uh, this is a d young dog we call Headhunter. He's about a 53-pound dog right now on the chain. He came. He comes off of uh, uh, Hooten's Cool Hand Luke, bred down out of uh, 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 Luke's daughter, uh, Belle Star, which happens to be a litter mate sister to Pistol. So uh, this this is definitely a, a it's a father to daughter breeding is what this is. He's got an attitude about him. Anyway, this is a dog called Hooten's Head Hunter. This dog right here is uh, the dog that we call Jeremiah. Uh, he was bred by Tony Anderson out of Oklahoma. He's an Ironhead nigger bred dog and he's a two-time winner. And uh, he's about 43 pounds right here on the chain. This is a real fine animal. He's got uh, all, all the tools that it's gonna take to go far. His last, uh, his last outing was over LG's Hot Rod. This is the little dog called Jeremiah. This dog was acquired by us from uh, Raymond De La Garza. This is a dog that we call Rosebud. Uh, she's off of Niggerino and Kate's Patches, which makes her a litter mate sister to Terry Townsend's Black Widow. And, uh, and, coo and uh, uh, excuse me, niggerino bitch that Terry's got. Uh, this dog right here, uh, we feel fortunate that we were able to buy this dog from uh, Raymond uh, as niggerino uh, bloodline is, is, uh, plays such a key role in, in, in our bloodstock in our yard. This is the dog we call Rosebud. She's about eight and a half years old now. This dog right here is a dog that we call Reno. Uh, actually, he he he's owned by he's owned by Pedro Alvarado out, out of out of the valley in South Texas, and uh, he was bred by Ed and Chris Farron. 
and he's off of there. He's off of there, Lucifer dog. Uh, this little dog's about a 38, 39 pound dog, and he's here for a keep. <laughs> they call him Wild Side Nigger Reno, but uh, we, we just call him Reno. I figure uh, that using the uh, there's a few names on dogs that uh, I think that are kind of taboo, and I think Nigger Reno was one of those ones, one of those names that uh, uh, I think it's going to take a it's going to take a hell of a dog to wear that collar. Anyway, this little dog called Reno. This thing here is our Ida bitch. Uh, she's a one-time winner. She's off of our dog called Wise Guy and our two-time winner, Ada, who's a double granddaughter of uh, Nigarino. And uh, as you can tell, she's one of those hard keepers. She, she'll sweep the yard for you. This is Ida. This is our dog that we call Pistola. He's off of uh, he's off of our pistol dog, uh, bred to a, a bitch that's called Cooter, that's uh, now deceased. And and Cooter came down off of uh, off of a dog we had called Hogan, which was the son of Nigarino, bred to our Amy bitch, who will be on the video here a little later. Uh, Pistola is uh, is wrapped up kind of tight like his daddy. He acts a lot like old Pistol. Uh, st staring at one spot and barking and wagging his tail and digging holes and, and just uh, pulling up roots and, and whatnot. Anyway, this is the dog we call Pistola. Come here, Pistola. Pistola. <laughs> He's got his eyes on a tree root. This little old dog's about 17 months old now. <laughs> This is my old dog, K2. He's just a pet. He's not, uh, he's, he's bred down out of that old ball salty dog stuff, and, uh, he's not really, uh, he's just a pet. What can I tell you? <laughs> but he's been loyal. So, and he's never been on a video before, so I'm going to put him on there. Has he been on one? Okay, well, he has been on one. He used to go to the ranch with me. Keep all the critters off of me. This is a this is a Tony Anderson acquisition. Uh, this is a dog that we call Belissa. Uh, Belissa comes down off that old bouncer dog, Accord Prices, and and, and a dog uh, called Queen, or or was it Gypsy? Well, anyway, the fact is, is uh, what what this is. This Belissa bitch is a. Uh, is a littermate sister to Jeremiah's mother. And we just bred her about two weeks ago to Jeremiah. And so it's basically iron head nigger breeding. And we hope it took. This is our thunder dog. Uh, he's a littermate to Wild Side Kills Lucifer. And, uh, He's a one-time winner now. Uh, he comes off of uh, Townsend's Cujo, bred down out of uh, Townsend's Black Widow. This is the dog we'll breed to that rosebud bitch. And uh, this is a real fine animal right here. <laughs> Christy, this, is, this is one of Christy's pride and joys. This is old Thunder. This is the old Amy bitch right here. This bitch, this bitch is about 11 years old. She was a one-time winner. Uh, she's a night trained bred dog on the top, scatter bred on the bottom. Uh, she's the mother. She, she's the mother of Wise Guy, who will later be on the video, and uh, Cooter. The mother. Uh, she's the mother of Cooter, which happens to be the mother of Pistola and uh, Junior, who also will be on the video here a little later. Uh, this is a great old bitch right here. Uh, she's. She's just as sweet as can be, and she's when when she was young, two and a half years old, she had the ability, uh, all the ability in the world, hard scratching, uh, just real talented. This this dog was bred by Jim Looney out of Wortham, Texas, and uh, well, that's how we acquired the dog by way of uh, another individual. Anyway, uh, this is old Amy, and we hope we can get one more litter out of her and Pistol.
before it's time to, before she just uh, probably can't breed anymore. This, this right here is Pistol, and he's he's firing off with Annie, which that right there, that's Annie, and she's uh, she's she's off of Niggerino and uh, Shoelace, which comes down off of uh, Niggerino and Faraloo, and uh, they've got this thing of a morning they go through. Anyway, let me put old Pistol on here. He's off of he's off of Cool Hand Luke and our Miss Bolero. Come here, Pistol. <laughs> As you can see, this dog's wrapped up a little tight. And uh, some of the young dogs we got off of him sure show to be some great, uh, great acting dogs for, for young ones. He, Pistola and he, him are a lot alike. Anyway, he's got a constitution about him. Pistol. Pistol. <laughs> If, if you if you know the meaning of the word gameness, folks, this sums it up right here. This is pistol. This is our this is our old Annie bitch again. Two Niggerino daughters on the video. It's like a candy store, folks. Oh, Ann. Savannah. This is Grand Champion Savannah. Uh, she's an eight-time winner. Uh, the only dog to have ever scratched to this dog was uh, Tony Anderson's sissy dog. Uh, she's a Tonka bred dog. Uh, I say she, and I, I say that loosely because she has both organs. Uh, she's, a, she's a hermaphrodite. Uh, she... Uh, she she has the uh, she has a male sex organ up inside of her uh, female organ, which is a real rare thing. This was a great dog right here. Now, unfortunately, she cannot be bred, or it cannot be bred. Anyway, this is old Grand Champion Savannah. It's about eight and a half years old now. This is Grand Champion Lionhead, and uh, there, you can't say enough good things about this dog either. This is a this was a fine animal. He's a seven-time winner. He's about eight and a half years old now, and he's sh starting to show the signs of age. But he's still uh, he's still really a fine animal, and hopefully he'll be a great producer as he was uh, a pit dog. I don't know if he'll ever produce anything as great as he is, but uh, uh, if he if he produces something just half as good, they'll be awful good. This is Grand Champion Lionhead. This dog is, this is our Calhoun dog. Uh, he comes off of our honey bunch female that we got called Petey, who's fixing to drop a litter, and uh, comes off a pistol, comes off our old pistol dog. And this little old dog right here, he, uh, he'll he fire up right now on a dog. He, you, you know, you can let puppies out in the yard to play, but you can't, not this one. He's about seven months old now, and he thinks he's a grown dog. This is Calhoun. This is a little dog we call Carmelita. She comes off of our Miss Bolero bitch, bred down out of uh, Terry Townsend's Cujo dog. She's a lit she's a litter mate. Well, I've got two other litter mates of hers right here on the yard uh, that that'll be on the video here right after her. This is Carmelita. How old are they now? About about six months old. This is Carmelita's. This is Carmelita's litter mate brother. This is the dog we call Pecos. This was the male out of the litter that we kept. He he also is like uh, Calhoun. He don't want to play. This is old Pecos. I wanted to get. I, I wanted to give you another shot of Pistola here. Uh, pistol son. Like I say, he's got his eyes on a root. Pistola. Pistola. He's not gonna come up for air, y'all. This this little dog here is is the third and uh, and and last dog uh, out of the litter uh, of the dogs that we kept. Uh, 
This was this is Sarita. Uh, she's off of the Cujo uh, Miss Bolero litter. Uh, litter mate to Pecos and Carmelita. This is our little Sarita dog. This is our little Sadie dog right here. She she comes off of uh, uh, Townsend's Champion Red Rover, bred down out of uh, uh, Hope. Or Princess. Princess, excuse me. Uh, Townsend's Princess. Uh, we, we bought this dog from Terry uh, not long ago. She sure is a fine, fine little dog. She sure is smart. Little dog, little dog we call Sadie. This, this little dog right here is, uh, is off of our pistol dog on the top side, and on the bottom, it's off of our champion Rocco's litter mate sister. Uh, this is a little dog that we call Frankie. And uh, the gentleman that owns Rocco's litter mate sister, who, uh, her name is Sassy, uh, the gentleman lives uh, over in San Antonio, a gentleman by the name of Bill Franklin, and uh, he wanted to breed to the pistol dog. And I got to pick me a couple of dogs out of the litter. As a matter of fact, I traded a pistol Ada breeding, uh, a pistol Ada pup, uh, for this little pup right here as I, as I got to pick the male for the breeding. Uh, and he, he'll, be, he'll be the next dog on the video. Anyway, this is little old Frankie. This is Frankie's litter mate brother. This was the one I got to pick. Uh, this My wife and I picked this one uh, for the breeding on pistol. This is a little dog called Hit and Run. He's the little male we chose. Got some red red dogs with black masks. It's so hit and run. Now this pretty little thing right here comes off a of pistol and Ada. Uh, there we only kept this one little female. We saw there was only there was only four females in the litter. Uh, that were born, and uh, or three. I think there were four born, and uh, one died, and we kept three, and well, we got rid of two, and uh, one went to Bill Franklin, one went to Joey Soba, uh, over in Austin, who's bought a lot of dogs from us. Anyway, this this little old female right here uh, is called Evo. That pistol throws that look, doesn't he? This is going to be a fine little dog right here. She sure is focused. Anyway, this is little Evo. This is our little dog that we call Scarlet. Uh, she's a litter mate. She's a litter mate uh, sister to uh, our Calhoun dog. Uh, like as I said, off a of pistol and uh, our honey bunch female Petey. She's kind of a laid back little old thing. She's she's kind of calm. She's got that black mask. She's a little undershot. That's our little bitch we call Scarlet. I guess you'd say that this dog's uh, pregnant. This is our old uh, PD bitch right here. This is uh, this this dog is off of uh, Snake Snake Man's Grand Champion Pedro and a dog called Brindy. And Brindy happened to be off of. Uh, Crenshaw's uh, Slater, or the Snake Dog, and, uh, and and Crenshaw's champion Missy, which was a sister to Jeep, and we just got through breeding this bitch. Uh, well, she's d due to drop in about three or four days, and we bred her to a, a dog that'll be on the video. That's a son of Jeep, and and a, and a, off of Shady Hills Cricket on the bottom, a dog that we call Dirty Jim. Uh, he's off a of Jeep on the top, and Shady Hills Cricket on the bottom, who happened to be a rascal bred dog. So it's a Jeep Rascal Cross. Anyway, this is old Teedy, and she knows it's feeding time, so she ain't gonna have her puppies today. Look, she's feeling pretty good, ain't she? That got that feed bowl ready. This dog right here is, Pist is Pistol's mother. Uh, this is Miss Bolero, bred by Fat Bill out of North Carolina. Comes off a of Chinaman and Fat Bill's Bolero, which is called Buzzsaw's Patches. Uh, both of them being four-time winners. Uh, this is a good producer right here. Great producing animal. Anything? Well, she produced pistols, so that uh, need I say more? And we just got through breeding her. Uh, 
about three weeks ago, we bred her to our champion Rocco dog. That's the inbred Niggerino dog that we got. He'll be on the video here shortly. Anyway, this is, this is our Miss Bolero bitch. This is a dog that we acquired from a gentleman up in Pennsylvania. This is a, this is a dog called Sweepy. Uh, she's off of Chinaman and, uh, and uh, McClinton's Tornado. Uh, we, we feel fortunate that we were able to get another Chinaman daughter. We, we missed her. Uh, she doesn't, she's not, doesn't have a real strong heat cycle. And we missed her on this last breeding. We hope that we can uh, get some pups off of her uh, in late summer, uh, uh, early fall. Anyway, this is the little dog we call Sweepy. She said, where's the food? This is our champion Rocco dog. He's uh, inbred Niggerino. He's, uh, he's, he's a 43-pound dog, and that's probably about what he is on the chain. We, we keep our dogs pretty much close to their weight. Uh, this dog right here, you can't say enough good things about this little old dog. He's got all the, all the tools it takes, uh, ivory being one of them, and knowing what to do when he gets there. Anyway, this little old dog is inbred, inbred off of uh, he's what he is is bred down off a of champion Red Rover, bred back to Red Rover's mother, which happens to be Niggerino bitch. Uh, so he's an inbred Niggerino dog, which gives him that makeup that he's got the bow legs and the the length. He's uh, two dogs long and one dog tall. So, uh, and I had somebody I had I had a gentleman out of Louisiana uh, named uh, Mike Driggers, a uh, friend of ours. He said that. Uh, he, he, he pretty much summed it up. He said if this little old dog was the only one in a confirmation show, he still wouldn't place. So uh, that pretty much sums it up. But the fact is, is confirmation's the least, least of our worries. This is our little champion Rocco dog. This is our Ada bitch right here. She's off of South Buddy Ringo, uh, bred down off of Niggerino bitch, which would make her an ant. And uh, I guess an aunt and half sister at the same time to Rocco. She's a two-time winner herself. Uh, she's the one that produced a little Evo dog out there. Uh, I've got some. I got a couple other dogs over here on the video that I'll put uh, off of Ada. Well, now that court, uh, that Ida bitch came off of Ada, uh, bred out of Wise Guy. And I've got a I've got a litter mate sister of Ida's uh, here on the yard uh, that I, she'll be, she just now started up. Anyway, this is the little dog we call Ada. This is my wife's. This is my wife's pride and joy right here. Real solid old bitch. This guy right here is our old dog we call Dirty Jim. Uh, he's a Tony Anderson acquisition. Uh, this dog was bred by Zach Abney, and he's off a of Jeep and Shady Hills Cricket which he's the sire to the pups up there that are inside of Teedy right now. Uh, this dog right here has not been open for public stud yet, but he soon will be. Uh, anyone that would like to contact me regarding this dog, uh, feel free to. Uh, his stud fee will be $500. This is, this is old uh, Dirty Jim, is what we call him. And he is dirty. I mean, he's in the, he, he waller, he'll waller in the mud like a hog. He's a hard keeper, too. Throws his house in his bowl. As you can see, uh, notice what we've got for some of these hard-keeping dogs. We've got a, we've got a concrete uh, water and feed bowl combined. Which uh, some of the... I've, we've had dogs chew plastic. We've had dogs chew metal. We've had them chew wood. I've never had one chew concrete except for pistol. And uh, he, only, only, really, he, he'll try to... He'll try to scrape rocks up rather than chew on his feeder. He doesn't have any teeth left hardly to chew on anything. And neither does, neither does old Jim here. Anyway, it, we feel fortunate that we were able to get this dog from Tony. And uh, this, this, this will play a key role in our breeding program. Uh, this is old Dirty Jim. This little old dog came by way of us from a gentleman up in uh, New York. And this little old dog's name is Half Moon. And 
she I, I couldn't I couldn't tell you how she's bred without uh, without looking on her papers uh, but basically a half moon is is just just a school dog and she's worth her weight in gold she must have ate a frog or something she's frothing a little bit anyway this old half moon this is our Suzu bitch right here uh, she's bred down off a of bully uh, and and McCool Sheba uh, Tony McCool out of East Texas owned both Bully and Sheba, and Sheba was off a of Jim Bob and Black Gal, which was a stomping auto bred dog, and Bully, of course, on the top was a brother-sister breeding. He was by result of a brother-sister breeding off a of chain puppy and honey, uh, which goes back to the butcher boy stuff. Anyway, this little old dog right here uh, is a dog that's that we've had for a, a, a quite some time and uh, we plan to breed her in the fall. This is Suzu. This is a little dog we call Thelma. Uh, she's a Tony Anderson acquisition. She comes off of his old Sackett dog that was a four-time winner and a, a litter mate to uh, Jeremiah's mother. Uh, that particular litter of dogs that Tony had was a great litter of dogs. Uh, Travis won five, the red brittle male <laughs> won four, excuse me, and uh, Sackett won four. And then there were two bitches, one one uh, two, and the other one one one. Uh, this is a little dog we call Thelma, and we're going to breed her to Jeremiah. At least that's our plan. This little bitch called Mabel. Uh, this little bitch right here uh, comes comes down off of Tom Gulledge's Max dog out of Kansas, and uh, <laughs> one of one of Tony's bitches on the bottom. I think uh, maybe Belissa. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know if it's uh, Belissa up there or uh, Miss Eli, which would make her a half uh, half brother to Jer half sister to Jeremiah. And anyway, this is the, this is the dog we call Mabel. She's about 19, 20 months old. And uh, this bonehead thing here is is exactly th that's his name. His name is Bonehead. He's uh. He's off a of grand champion lion head, bred down out of our bitch, our Heinzel alligator bred bitch we got called Chocolate, who will later be on the video. This dog's about 19 months up, 19 months old and just uh, just started up. There's an old bonehead, extremely large dog. He's about a 50 pound dog.